Hey, uh, it's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain the basics of pointers in C. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Oh yeah, we've finally made it to pointers. We're only about 40 topics in. A pointer is a variable-like reference that holds a memory address as a value to another variable, array, etc. Some tasks are performed more easily with pointers, and here's a comprehensive list of a few of the benefits. In this video, we're going to more or less focus on building a solid foundation with pointers and understanding how they work. So let's say we have a variable, int age, and I'll give this some value. A variable has a value and an address, and let's display the value and the address of this variable using two print statements. So first, I'm going to display the address of this variable, address of age. Then I will use the P format specifier to display an address in hexadecimal. And we are displaying the address of age. An ampersand is the address of operator, address of age. And I would also like to display the value of age, value of age. And this is an integer, and we will display age. So variables have a value and an address. This is the address of this variable and the value at this address. As you know, there's tons of different things we can do with a value of a variable, but there are things that we can do with an address as well. So we can actually store this address within a separate variable, a variable-like reference, and that is called a pointer. So to create a pointer, we will make sure these are of the same data type as the variable we're pointing to. Age is an integer, so we will declare this pointer of the integer data type. And the next step to declare a pointer is that we will use an asterisk. This is the indirection operator. And a common naming convention for pointers is that you type lowercase p, the name of the variable you're going to point to, but make the first letter uppercase. And I'm going to set this equal to the address of age. So the address of age and the value at this variable are the same. And let's test that theory. So this time I'm going to display the address of age and the value of p age. And this will display an address, so change the format specifier from d to p. And I'm going to turn this line into a comment for now. Okay, so these addresses should both be the same. The address of age as well as the value stored within p age. So our pointer has its own address, but the value stored within it is an address, and we can access the value at this address by using the indirection operator. So this time I'm going to print the value of age and the value at stored address, and to dereference a pointer, you will type the pointer name p age preceded with the indirection operator. As my own personal nickname for the indirection operator, I call it the value at address operator. That's not any official name, that's just how I think about it. So we're extracting a value at the given address within this pointer. So if I display the value of age and the value at this stored address using the indirection operator, well, both of these are going to be the same. So we have 21 stored within our age, and after dereferencing this pointer, we're extracting the value at this given address. So you use the indirection operator when you declare a pointer, as well as when you want to access a value at the stored address. So with the data types of the pointer, you'll want to make sure they're consistent. C is a strongly typed language. So if I change the data type of my pointer to char, Using my compiler, I'll receive a warning. Initialization of char from incompatible pointer type, int. Now the actual data type of a pointer is the same. They use eight bytes to store an address. So I'm going to print the size of our variable as well as our pointer. So I'll change this data type back to what it was originally. And this time I'm going to print the size of our age variable as well as the size of our pointer. Size of age and we're displaying an integer, and this will be in bytes. Size of age, 
size of pointer edge. And then I'm going to display a new line. Okay, so the size of our edge variable is four bytes. It's an integer. Integers use four bytes. So even though we declared our pointer as an integer, the actual size of our pointer is going to be eight bytes. That's enough to store a hexadecimal address. So just as good practice, since C is a strongly typed language, you'll want to be sure that the data type of your pointer is consistent with the variable that it's pointing to. Now here's one thing that we can do with pointers. We can pass a pointer as an argument to a function. So outside of my main function, I'm going to declare a function. Void, let's say print age. First, we'll do this with passing an integer. So int age, and I will display the value of age. You are age years old. And I will display my age variable. Then at the end, we will pass in our variable. Print age, and I will pass in age. For now, I'm just going to turn all of these into comments. Okay, so you know this works. You are 21 years old. You could also pass in a pointer too. So I'm going to this time pass in pointer age, and we need to change the parameter from an integer to a pointer. So precede the parameter name with the indirection operator. And I'll rename this parameter as page. In order to access the value of the address stored within my pointer, I need to dereference. So I will use the indirection operator, then type my pointer name, page. And this will do the same thing as before. So yeah, those are pointers. Oh, and before I forget, you can declare and initialize a pointer in two steps, but it would be good practice if you're declaring a pointer to assign a value of null. Since we already declared this pointer, we do not need to use this indirection operator again when assigning a value. So p age equals the address of age. So it's considered good practice to assign null if you're declaring a pointer and not yet assigning a value. So yeah, that's basically a pointer. It's a variable-like reference that has a memory address as value to another variable, array, etc. Some tasks are performed more easily with pointers, and to declare a pointer, you use the indirection operator. And if you need to access a value stored within a pointer, you type the pointer name preceded with the indirection operator. So yeah, that is a quick intro to pointers. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.